I think that I am walking proof that Dollar Tree is an addiction. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, and I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. You guys, I went in for mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. I loved that Bear Creek mac and cheese that I got from this big Dollar Tree that I go to last time that I went back for mac and cheese. Between both my Dollar Trees, I spent over 80 bucks. I just don't know how it happens. It's every stinking time, but Nevertheless, here we are, and I'm ready to show it to you. So I'm not really sure if this is the size that my girlfriend, Vanessa, the lemonade mom, if this is the ones that she hauled. She does a, like, family movie night once a month, and they use these little caddies to bring all of their snacks to the couch for when they're watching TV. And I thought this was the cutest thing because I have two littles, and they're constantly fighting. I mean, one's 18 months and one's four years old, and they cannot not share or stick their hands in one another's snack bag, snack bowl. So I thought these would be cute for when they're eating snacks to just kind of give them one of these things. I've never found them before. So I got one in blue and one in yellow and it has like a bigger compartment here for you to put like snacks in and then like a juice box, maybe your straw, your silverware, a napkin. So I'm excited to use these. So I always say that no Dollar Tree haul is a Dollar Tree haul without buying some kind of candle. But this time when I went, I found a new coffee candle. Like the coffee candles are my favorite Dollar Tree candle, hands down. I've had some great candles from a Dollar Tree, but the coffee candles are life, guys. And look at these new ones. And I, you know, they're, you could tell that they're the coffee ones because they're the little lids again, but these ones don't look like Starbucks. They had a fourth one. I'll have to go back and check my video. I did vlog inside the store, so I'll put a card up top for that for when I was inside the store, but I there was one I wasn't crazy about. It was an orange one. Maybe that was, I'm not sure. Honestly, I didn't really like that one, but these ones smell amazing, like the coffee candles, amazing. So this one says chestnut praline latte, and this smells very much like the lighter coffee one like the there was like a light a lighter brown one this one oh we're losing a lid it's because it wants me to smell it this one is the eggnog latte and oh my goodness it smells like creme brulee like very custardy really really yummy and then this caramel brulee coffee smells just like the caramel coffee um coffee candle <sighs> so stinking yummy you guys i can't wait to see what the throw is going to be like on these candles but they're so cute i had to pick them up and then i've been hauling these for a long time now i want to say like seven or eight months i've been scoring these with the top Never saw a Moscato. I, I'm a Moscato drinker. I would have scooped this one up. Never saw it. But this one smells really good. So I picked up the Moscato, one of these. And then I had to get another of this bourbon salted caramel. I saw this one. And this one, besides the fact that these little mason jars are so cute. And the last one I just burned. I scooped everything out. Cleaned it really good, put it in the dishwasher, got it completely immaculate, and now I'm reusing this mason jar in my pantry. So besides repurposing these little jars, this one had so much throw that it filled the whole room. Yeah, this is an old Williamsburg, and you can tell because it smells so stinking good. I smelled it across the house. It was really yummy. So I went walking down the makeup aisle because I always have to check the nails and I really have been on the lookout for that e.l.f. like moisture balm. The one that's very similar to like the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. I've been on the lookout for that for a long time. I cannot find it. But if I find it, I'm going to buy every single one of them because I've been really obsessed with that like hyaluric acid and the way that it makes your skin feel. Um, could not find it. But I did find this and I've not seen it before. And even the tab. 
on the elf says new here in the corner so i'm not sure if the if this is like new to elf but it's called a smudge pot and it's long lasting eyeshadow and eyeliner and it's more like a cream based than like a powder so um it says it's a gliding gel formula that's perfect as a long lasting eyeshadow or eyeliner so i just got the very neutral color called cruising chick so it has a little bit of a shimmer to it but I thought it would be best to try this out first with just a very basic color, but I, I'm excited to try this. Like I mentioned, I did grab some nails. Uh, I had to grab these ones because I had not ever seen these ones before. These ones are really funky. They have like white and a black glitter and then a gray and white chevron. I'd really, I've been noticing that they've been doing like a specialty nail or a row of decor nails in there, but I've never noticed one with like all different kinds. So that was really neat. And then I did pick up this one again, just because this is one of my favorites. This is the baby pink with the little white dots as the French manicure. I really like this one because it's very neutral. Whenever I see this one, I grab it. Uh, I don't think I have this one anymore, um, but I feel like it really is versatile. Spring is coming. It's a very springy color. So I grabbed this up. And then a couple of hair products. So I needed um, these little clips. These little clips never held my hair, but now that my hair is really getting thin, these clips actually do work. And I loved these. These are really pretty. They're like pearlized. And so it's a gray pearl, like a plain white pearl. And then like this rose pearl with a little gold um, alligator claw parts. And I thought that those are really, I don't know, they're a little bit more dressy, I guess. And then I also got this headband from Scrunchie. So technically it's five, it says it's three pieces. Oh, maybe these are all connected together. Okay, so maybe this is, so you have a double layered black one, a double layered pink one, and then this like rose pattern solid one. And then you're supposed to wear them all together like the way that she has it. And I just thought that was cute. Again, I've never really been able to get away with things like this, but now that my hair is so thin, I'm kind of looking for ways to kind of hide those thinning areas when I'm filming and just look a little bit more presentable. It's been a long time since I saw some like decent quality air fresheners in the Dollar Tree. It's usually kind of the cheaper ones, um, but these ones are the Refresher Car and this is the coconut scent, and these are the ones that you put in your vents, which I love these for the winter time for when we're putting the heat on. I feel like the air conditioning works, but the air conditioning's cold, so I feel like they just don't work as good, but when you're using heat and it like heats them up and blows the scent out, I feel like it works a lot better. And then these guys are fabulous these are the midnight cool ones and there's the ones that smell like men's cologne and this is a three pack so i'm gonna divide these up and give it to daryl and paul and one for myself for valentine's day but i thought these were really awesome because i've not ever seen the scent there so i picked up a bunch of candy so that i can make these little I guess individual homemade kind of candy satchels to give each one of the kids i did get them like those little hearts like the the conversation hearts and the chocolate heart for valentine's day but those are chocolates really aren't the greatest but these are really yummy so i picked up two of these bags because these are the fudge hearts you guys these are so stinking good it's almost like um what are those called those really expensive like the oh the linder lindor truffles like those kinds of things that's the way that these remind me of because when they go in your mouth they're very soft texture there's like fudge in the middle they're really yummy so i got two bags of these and then same concept but this one has the peanut butter on the inside and then these conversation hearts i think i did grab yeah i grabbed two bags so one 
I'm going to use to sprinkle in their candy bags. And then another one is to add to the bags that I have downstairs because I love to use these for home decor when I'm decorating for Valentine's Day. If you take like a vase and you put a tall white pillar candle in the center and then put these all around it, you see it through the clear vase and it looks really festive. So I picked up two of those bags for that. And then I picked up a bag of these tiger pops in the heart shape and there's 20 22 pops in there and they're cherry flavor so i'll divide a couple of these up between each kid and then the rest i'll put in our candy bowl and then there is 10 packs of these valentine's day starbursts so between all of that candy i should be able to divvy it up and make them like cute little goodie bags to put with their stuff and these my dad requested um he said these are one of the best candies he's ever eaten in his life and he wanted them in his stocking for christmas and i could not find them but i found them this time so i grabbed them for him these are these sour punch rainbow straws so it's almost like a twizzler pull and peel but a but in a sour patch kid form so grab these for daddy because when daddy asks you get him what he wants you guys, I went a little cray cray on the books, but every single time I've gone to the Dollar Tree lately, their books are killer. I'm not really sure why some of these bookstores or sellers or authors, why they're willing to only take a dollar for some of these books that are considered best sellers that are $30, $24, you know, original retail price. So, um, but I'll show you when I get into them. But this I thought was really cute. Um, this is amazing food hacks. And this book is kind of hard, like a board book for a child. Um, but inside of it, it just has all these different food hacks, like something you, uh, what you should be pouring syrup on and like all these different ways for you to like make biscuit bowls by putting biscuits over the back of a cupcake tin so cute little things i thought maybe i would do like a food hack friday or something once a month and put one of these to the test just thought it would be something cute to do so i grabbed that and then along with my best friend coming down next weekend for that last 50s movie um she's bringing her sister and i know that ashlyn loves all these like different kind of books so when i saw a bunch of these i was like oh my god these are so her so when she comes down here next weekend i want to give her leave these books on her bed so she has them to read so this one was called the young world and it's basically about like a population where a sickness like a plague comes in and wipes out the whole area and it's like how you would survive but survivor is her favorite show so when i saw this i was like oh i think she'll totally love that um and then this i picked up for my uncle because his birthday is coming up at the end of the month and he loves all of those He's a social studies major and a huge history buff. So any kind of things like this, this is called The Truth About the Harry Cubitt Affair. And it's just a political book about uh, a missing 15-year-old girl that is a famous novelist's daughter and basically the politics and all of that involved and why she goes missing and stuff and it's a true story um so i thought he would be interested in that and he loves to read so i grabbed that for him and then this again looks like something that ashlyn would like to read so this is called genocide of one um and it's the same kind of concept it's like um a island where it's the next generations of humans that evolve from present day man and like what they're how they adapt to life and stuff so this looks really good and i mean guys like i said about how some of these things retail for this says 26 dollars 18 dollars this was originally 10 i don't know if it says what this was and these all have bestseller stickers on it 
which I think is crazy. This doesn't say a price on what that was, but then I got one more of them. This looks really good, and I, this is for me and my best friend to read because I think that we will love it. Um, it's called Woman with a Secret, and I forgot what this said, but... Oh, she's a mom, and she has all these secrets that she's been keeping from her husband and her children and, like, what happens when they all find them out. So this looked really good. Again, another bestseller sticker on the front, and does it say how much this one was? $25.99. So how do you beat that for a buck? So, of course, it's organizing time at the Dollar Tree, and all of their bins are out. So, I grabbed this green bin. I mean, I'm sure you guys can kind of see the background of my room. It's that bluish kind of green. So, I got this from my room to kind of throw in the kids' toys at the end of the night, whatever that they leave. I find we're going to the bathroom in the middle of the night and, like, tripping over. It's We are the parents that are in that stereotypical meme where we're stepping on a Lego in the middle of the night. So I got this for that, and then I got this for Mason's room. His rooms are like red and blues, but again, ever since Christmas, we got all these loose and crazy toys, and you guys, these buckets, I mean, they're huge. So I got these, and for a buck, it's time to start organizing because Mama can't have these toys everywhere. Not a whole lot of stickers this time, which is good because I'm kind of overflowing on the stickers right now. But I did see these, and this is 127 of these little tiny hologram kind of hearts. I thought those would be cute for my planner. And then I got these little St. Patrick's Day ones for the month of March for the planner. I picked up these pecan shortbread cookies. I keep hauling these guys over and over again. This is my guilty pleasure. I don't share them. I hide them in the drawer in my bedroom. And when I want to sneak a cookie, I don't tell anyone. So I picked up three of these Valentine's gift bag two packs. I love that each one is different. So like this one's just the pink with the gold heart and then the white with the plain pink hearts. And then this one, a little bit more manly. This is the brown paper bag with the red hearts. And then this is the red chevron with, I love the little detail on the love with the heart and like the little dots around it. I thought that was so cute. And then this one is like manly and girly, which I love since it's like two separate ones. So I feel like this Be Mine with the gold stripes could be manly. And then the gold stripes with the pink flag is good and girly. So I'm going to use each one of these bags for my husband and my kiddos Valentine's Day goodies. I'm still redoing my office like legitimately I think I've been hauling stuff to redo this office for like eight or nine months now and we're maybe a few steps closer but not there yet so um, I picked up these little magnetic tins I thought these were really cute um, my kids are really Maya at 18 months old she surprises me how much she can get into and she's finding things like my rubber bands my thumbtacks I don't think she's gonna be able to unscrew this cap off so for now I should be able to contain some of these things she shouldn't be in at my desk with these picked up two cans of the rip it my husband absolutely loves these and when he works late nights he says that these get him through the night he loves them I think they're great for a dollar so these are the rip it power and he said out of all the flavors the red is the best so everyone's been hauling these jars and I was really happy to find them because they're so farmhouse chic. I love the blue with the twine on them. Nicole Burgess, I know that you were looking for these and if you haven't gotten them or if nobody has sent them to you yet, I got you two of them. So I got a clear and a blue for myself because again, in the backgrounds, I think this will kind of match well in my room. And then they only had two clear. So girl, we each got one. One, and then I got you a clear and then a green one. I hope you can use the green. I didn't know if I should get you another blue. I almost called you, but it was the middle of a school day and I knew you'd be at school, um, but I didn't know which one to get you. So I hope you're happy with these, but Nicole, I got these for you and I hope you love them. 
So one of the best scores I think that I got out of all things today was something I've been looking for for a really long time. I already have one, but as soon as I purchased one, a bunch of you had wrote me and said you were looking for it. One person in particular was Angel's Haven. I've been looking for this for her forever. And girl, look what I found. First I drink the coffee and then I do the things. So I'm so excited to give this to you. I actually picked up one for you and I picked up another one for a future giveaway just because I know how much you guys love them and I know how long I've been looking for them and they just weren't back around. So I'm glad to have found them. And Angel, if you could resend your address to me in my Instagram or something, I will get this out to you as soon as possible. Everyone's been hauling these buy drinks and I love anything carbonated like soda and seltzer water and any kind of fizzy drinks like that and these just looked really good so this is a sparkling antioxidant infusion and this is the root beer i meant to grab cream oh i did okay good i grabbed the root beer the cola and the Colombian cream. So I guess he's supposed to be very similar than like sodas, but they have pretty much nothing in them and they're full of antioxidants. So I'm all about it. I know this is kind of silly and he's 13 and it's kind of cutesy. It's only a paperweight, but my son loves Captain America. It's his favorite like superhero or it was growing up. And I thought this was really cute, so I think I'm just gonna take it out and like tape it to the top of his Valentine's Day card. Um, I just thought it was cute, so I had to grab it. I don't know why I've never seen these before, but I thought these were the cutest stinking things. So I got one for myself and one for my girlfriend, Marissa, who lives in Texas. Um, she is a Coca-Cola-holic, and I thought this would be so cute to send one to her. But these are like the perfect size Coke can, and it kind of goes in on the top like a can, and it says Coca-Cola on both sides. I know it's kind of hard to see. Does it say how many ounces this is? It's a 12 ounce. So this is literally like the size of an imitation can. How stinking cute. So this is what I went for, you guys. This. And this isn't even the flavor I wanted. This was the only one lonely box that was sitting here. Like this. That's it. I was really sad because I wanted the four cheese one. That was so stinking good. So this one's the creamy chipotle of the Bear Creek grown up mac and cheese. When I first hauled these, I hauled two four cheeses and one of these. We only cooked the two boxes of four cheeses together because it takes about two to feed the family. And I saved that other one for just me and Daryl thinking the spicy might be too much on the kids. But honestly, I think Daryl and I, even if we ate it alone, could have killed two bags of this because this stuff was amazing. So if you see this mac and cheese, not only am I going to tell you to buy some, but pick the four cheese one up for me, please. I know I said I went a little cray cray on the books, but I think I might have gone a little bit more cray cray on the antibacterial soaps. But you guys, these ones are so cute and I had never seen them. And I bought all six of the different kinds that I can find. And I am going to give one to my son um, for Valentine's Day, like to hang on his backpack. But the rest of these things, I think I'm going to save for like teacher gifts and things like that because they're so cute. So this is the Tootsie Roll Pop with the little traditional owl on it. And it says how many licks. I think that's so cute. Then this one is the Berry Blow Pop and it has like, and they're all like the holders are all 3D and they're super like squishy and they all smell really good. Um, and then this one is a cherry flavored Airhead. And then this one I kind of almost didn't buy. This is the Tootsie Roll one. It's super cute. I actually think it's the one Jake would probably choose most, even though he loves Airheads. Um, but I can't really imagine putting chocolate on my hands. So I don't really know how I would feel about my hands smelling like chocolate, but I don't know. Um, and then this one is the Sugar Daddy, which I think this one would actually probably smell really good because it's more of like that caramel scent. 
And then this one, even though it's chocolatey, mint is like my all-time everything. So when it comes to like a hand sanitizer. So this one's the Junior Mint. I think it's so, so cute. So I had to get one of every kind that I found. But I'm going to put them away because like I said, I think that they are great fillers and little gifts. And again, I think they're super cute. So finally joined the bandwagon of everybody else and started buying some of these fake flowers, especially now that I got like these cute little jars like for some of the stuff to go in. So I did get two of the wisteria. They're just, they really are so pretty and they're so lifelike. I think that you're just going to look so good like put together in that jar. So I got two of the wisteria. I think I might have gotten only two of these little, what are these called? Yeah, cattails. I love these. These are very farmhouse chic. I think these are so, so cute. So I got two of the cattails. And then I don't know how many I got of these. Oh, I guess only two. But I might go back and get more of the onion grass because I feel like even two is not enough. You may need like three for one bouquet. And I seriously want to put this in like three different places. So I will be hauling more of these. But um, that's what I picked up for this time. A couple of St. Patty's Day things, although I'm not really in this mode yet. I'm trying to get my Christmas stuff put away and my Valentine's Day stuff up. But I'm not really thrilled with any of the St. Patrick's Day like signs this year, unless they are going to come out with more when it comes a little closer. This is the only one that I saw that I'll probably hang on my door because I don't have a wreath for St. Patrick's Day. Um, but this one just says welcome in the hat and then the different shamrocks going down. So that was the nicest one that I had really seen. I, and then... Like I said, not really a fan really of any of those. And then I did pick up two of these shamrock um, dish towels. I don't think I have any shamrock really anything. Like literally no St. Patrick's Day decor in my whole house. So I grabbed these just to spruce the kitchen up a little. I was so happy to find these. And I absolutely love that these things are beat the heck up. Like they look like they've seen better days. But it's just like... That distressed look is just the thing lately. So I love how these look very like old and antique-ish looking. So lots of ideas for these as far as home decor. I was really excited to see these at the Dollar Tree. The expiration date is the 24th of February. So we are approaching it a little close. But I think I'm just going to use it for Super Bowl. So it'll be gone long before anyways. But this is the Cape Cod Thin. So these are very much like those deli cut crispy kind of fries. Um, fries. Potato chips. But the Cape Cod brand is very expensive because as you can see there it has the non-GMO label on it. So any kind of organic or non-GMO chip is generally more expensive, but you can't even get a bag of cheap chips for a dollar in the regular grocery store. So I was happy to see these. Um, these are the salt and vinegar flavor. I don't know how many people like salt and vinegar, but I know I do. So these just might be all mine at the Super Bowl. And my very last, but certainly not least item is this padlock. So funny story with this padlock. I have a 13 year old. He's my oldest and we're struggling with him a little bit in school as far as being responsible and doing the work that he's supposed to do. These kids are very tied up nowadays in their electronics. Even the school provides them with an, e with an iPad where he says he's doing work, but I never really know what he's doing. So the new rule is I bought a white plastic like bin from Bed Bath & Beyond and my husband has hinges and he's actually going to put hinges on this bucket and we're going to lock the bucket up and when he comes home from school each day he's going to have to put his phone, his iPad, the controllers to his Xbox, his Switch, all those things are going to go inside of that box and we're going to lock it up and when he's shown that he's put some study time in, he's done some reading, he's done all of his chores and everything, then we'll unlock the box and he'll have access to his things. But I really don't want to treat him like an immature child, but at 13, he should have a little bit more responsibility and I shouldn't be stressing this much with him as far as not completing schoolwork. So I'm hoping this trick works because I'm kind of running out of ideas. 
Okay guys, so that's it for my ridiculously long miscellaneous Dollar Tree haul. But thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I think I kind of have to do my best to stay out of Dollar Tree for at least two weeks maybe but i i can't go there and get out for under 50 bucks and lately it's been closer to 100 so um i i, I think i might have to cut my dollar tree monthly budget down just a tiny bit but i love coming on here and sharing with you guys all the fun things that i found so make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you guys are new take the time to subscribe like i said i try and do a dollar tree haul every two weeks and i will see you guys all in my next video Bye, guys.